Aziz, I have to ask you, we were talking about your romantic life, uh, marriage, uh, dating. Have you tried computer dating? Computer dating? Yeah, Is that like that? online dating? Yeah. <laughs> computer dating is like you're going out with an actual computer. You know what, I, give me a break. I'm 77 years old. <laughs> Tell me of this computerized dating. <laughs> it's all the rage yes. with you kids. Well, it's either that or the singles bars. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, have you tried this online dating? Let's... No, I, I've never done it. I, I have a friend, he, he, he did it, and he actually, he met his wife on one of those sites. And I, and I asked him, I was like, oh, what'd you search? Because that's yeah. kind of a weirdly romantic thing. You know, he types in this phrase. There's all these, like, algorithms and stuff that come together. This woman's face comes up. He clicks it. That becomes a woman he spends the rest of his life with. So right. I asked him, I was like, what'd you search? And he goes, Jewish and my zip code. <laughs> All you were looking for? <laughs> Just something Jewish close by? You don't want to drive too far? Jewish, that's how I found a Wendy's a few weeks ago. <laughs> I typed Wendy's in my zip code and then I got some nuggets. He got a wife the exact same way. So it's not for you, is what you're saying. No, no, no. Now, uh, am I right that you do, you do quite a bit of work, uh, charity work, uh, for anti-bullying, is that right? Yeah, I did a show uh, not too long ago for this uh, anti-bullying charity. I, I wasn't really aware of this issue, and then I saw this documentary uh, about bullying, and I know you kind of hear that, and like the first thought is like, oh, really? Like, kids getting teased in school, that's what we're making a big deal about now? And that's kind of what I thought, and then I saw the documentary, okay? First scene, kid's just sitting on a bus. He looks at this other kid, he goes, hey, how's it going? And the kid's just like, I hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you and cut your face off and then put it on my face and look in the mirror and make fun of myself. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yeah, this is a problem. That was terrifying. <laughs> that's not bullying and teasing. That's like a demented kid. Yeah, like, that's, that's not the bullying and teasing I remember. Yeah, you know? yeah, I mean, bullying and teasing I remember is like, oh, hey, you're fat. Hey, you're brown. Shut up, you bozo. Get out of here, you ding dong. That's fine. No one's gonna get hurt. That's fine. Did you grow up in the 1950s? <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you talking about? But it's gotta be a little rougher than that. <laughs> but hey there, ding dong. <laughs> oh yes, you go along, you old ding dong. But I, I don't know. I, it, it was just like it, it was just like really scary to see this stuff. And I, I just think about like when I was a kid, there was only one time where a kid actually like physically hit me. And, like, the teacher dealt with it right away. The kids in, in this documentary, the teachers don't do anything. Like, they don't intervene? They don't really do anything. Like, kid goes up to the teacher in one scene, he's like, uh, he said he's going to cut my arms off and glue them to my butt so I look like a minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> and the and the These are the most creative kids. Yeah. I, I have to give it up to these right, bullies. Right. This is like, they put a lot of thought yeah. into this. But and the maybe teacher the teacher was teaching ancient Greece. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, extra awesome credit. Yeah, yeah. But the teacher doesn't do anything. I remember one time when I was a kid where I, I was actually physically bullied, and I'll never forget what happened. Like, I grew up in South Carolina. Kid hit me. I went and told the teacher. Teacher goes up to the kid right away and just goes, if you touch him again, I will end you. <laughs> and that was it. I will end you. Yeah. I love that. I love, I will end you. What a yeah. fantastic phrase. Yeah, because, yeah, the bullying stopped forever. And because that kid was like, all right, well, I don't want to be ended, whatever that means. <laughs>